Dear friends, today we are going to see problem number 4. Uh, this is a direct problem. You will be given a transition probability matrix TPM. Now, they are telling you to find the transition diagram. We have to check whether the child is irreducible or not. And finally, ergotic or not. Now, let us take the matrix capital P. We have to define the states. So, either you can say 0, 1, 2 or if you don't like, you can take it as 1, 2, 3. All are same. Okay, so for a change, I am going to take the states are 1, 2 and now the first part, I have to draw the transition diagram. So I have three states, 1, 2 and 3. Now I am going to draw the line. So from 1 to 2, the value is 1, done. Now 2 to 1, the value is 1 by 2. Similarly, 2 to 3, the value is 1 by 2 again. And 3 to 1 is going to be 1. So, this is the transition diagram students. By seeing the diagram itself, we can find whether the given matrix is irreducible as well as ergotic or not. Now, we can see here, from 1 I can reach 2. For similarly, from 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 I can reach 3. So, this part is done. Similarly, from 3 I can reach 1. From 3 again, I can reach 3 to 1, I can reach 2. Then from 2, I can directly reach to 1, directly reach to 3. So that means every state is reachable. Then I say it as what? Irreducible. So you see, since in this every state is reachable, I can connect every state with every other state, then it is going to be irreducible. This is done. Now, as I said, I want to find whether it is ergotic or not. So you can take any state. My simple suggestion is you can take the state which has more number of connections. For example, now you take 2. So in the state 2, let us see, let us find the length. So I can travel from 2 to 1 and again 1 to 2. So the written thing, the length is going to be 2. What is the next length? From 2 to 3, then 3 to 1, then 1 to 2. So the length is going to be 3. Similarly, I can repeat a lot. Now we have to check the GCD of this. So the GCD of this is going to be 1. We know the result. If the Markov chain is irreducible, all the states are same. That means all the states are either periodic or aperiodic. Now we checked that our state 2 is aperiodic because the GCD is what? 1. So state 2 is aperiodic. Now I can comment that all the states are aperiodic. So since it is going to be irreducible, I can say it as non-null persistent. Aperiodic city condition is also worked out. I can conclude that this is ergotic. Problem over guys. But if you do like this, you will never get a score. To get a score, you have to go by procedure. Now let us see how to solve the problem by procedure. Okay, we draw the transition diagram. The first one is over. Next, what you are going to do? We are going to find the matrix. Next, we are going to check whether the chain is irreducible or not. So, we know our P matrix. Now, the next step is I want to do P square. P square is simply P into P. So, now in the next video, I am going to post how to use calculator to find P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 etc. So better you can use the calculator very easily and solve the problem. So you need not to be write in fractions, you can write in decimals also. So p into p square, I am writing the final answer directly because you are going to solve with your calculator. Now similarly, I want to find p cube. So p cube is p square into p you can manipulate and you can find the values as 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 0, 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and finally 1 by 2, 0, 1 by 3. So now you see, now let us see in the P matrix, I can see 5 elements are 0. In the second step, P square, I found 1, 2, 3, 4 elements will become non-zero here itself. So only one element which have to be non-zero that is going to be happened in the next step. So now I can say all the 9 elements are non-zero at some point of time. We do you remember Pij power n, n should be greater than nor equal to 
one. Now it is okay, but to find the third condition ergodic, we need more data. So similarly, what I am going to do, I am going to use the calculator and I am going to find the value of p power four and p power five. I am writing here directly. So p power four is p cube into p or p square into p square. You can do whatever you like. Now let us write the values of p power four. 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 4 here 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 2 0 now finally p power 5 we are going to write 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 3 by 8 1 by 2 1 by 8 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 4 so these things you can easily generate from the calculator and you can write now we are going to write the conclusion since p i j power n it is greater than 0 we saw all this data but very good for us the thing is the fifth value when n equal to 5 all are greater than 0 we can directly use this and we can write for i and j a transition can be made between any two states because in fifth value p 5 all are non zero so for i and j i can say a transition can be made between made between any two states any two states so i can conclude that the markov chain is irreducible that is why ultimate aim i conclude the markov chain is irreducible this is okay so now finally we are going to check the periodicity now to check the periodicity we have to state any of the states so i am going to take state 1 because in this problem we take the states as state 1 2 3 so i am going to take state 1 let us see now to check the periodicity <coughs> to check the periodicity always we have to go for the diagonal elements p 1 1 1 see here p 1 1 1 is 0 p 1 1 2 it is non zero 1 by 2 i don't bother about 1 by 2 it is non zero p 1 1 3 is going to be again 1 by 2 that is non zero p 1 1 4 is going to be 1 by 4 non zero p 1 1 5 is again 1 by 2 it is non zero so now all the values are non zero so i have to take the gcd now i have to take the gcd of non zero values so i cannot take this 2 3 4 so i'll take 2 3 4 5 and it is not finite it goes on now the gcd is going to be 1 if the gcd is 1 i will say it as a periodic if the gcd is 1 remember i say it as a periodic so in exams you have to mention this if a markov chain is irreducible then all its states are same now using this theorem i can state state Two state three are also a periodic. So now we proved all the three states are a periodic. Since we have already proved that Markov chain is irreducible, and this is going to be finite. So when it is irreducible, I can say it as non-null persistent. When it is non-null persistent and a periodic, I can conclude that it is going to be ergodic. We have completed the. problem initially we understand from the diagram to check how it is irreducible as well as whether it is a periodic or periodic now i am going to say one more important point some students will ask the doubt sir from the diagram you are telling that a periodic why you always take the state 2 i said if the state has more connection then finding gcd is going to be easy so now some students say sir when i take 3 we are getting something wrong okay so at the end of this video i am very happy to explain that also now i am taking state so as i said the walk can be repeated what students will think in a wrong way now from state 3 i can go to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 so now the length is going to be 3 the first length next what students will think okay again 3 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 second time i can travel again like this 3 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 now the length is going to be 6 immediately what students will do sir you see sir the gcd between 3 and 6 is going to be 3 so you said all the states will have same period now but state 2 as a periodic state 
थ्री एस पीरियोडिक यू आर रॉन्ग सो दिस इज द आर्ग्यूमेंट समटाइम्स सम स्टूडेंट्स विल डू नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस इन अ वेरी क्लियर वे सो वी फाउंड द जे सी डी फर्स्ट वन इज थ्री दट इज आई ट्रेवल थ्री टू वन वन टू 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 थ्री नाउ दे थिंक ओनली आफ्टर थ्री द लेंथ इज सिक्स देर माइट बी पॉसिबल ऑफ लेंथ फोर और फाइव द स्टूडेंट्स डोंट थिंक लेट मी क्लियर how it is possible now i am starting with 3 i am going to 1 1 to 2 so the length is 2 now 2 to 1 again i will go so the length is 3 then again i will travel from 1 to 2 so the length is 4 now again i will travel to 3 so there is a length 5 in between length 3 and 6 now if you found the gcd it is going to be 1 that's why in the first stop of the video i have clearly said when you check the data with diagram always go for the state which has more connections now when you take 3 i will not say it is wrong but you should be very careful before you write the solution or before you get the solution at state 2 it is easy to get the gcd like 2 3 gcd is going to be 1 thank you students for your patience In the next video I am going to post how to find P2 P3 P4 P5 etc using calculator and do the problem in a easier way thanks for watching support my channel subscribe share to your friends see you in the next video guys bye bye